What I'm doing right now is I have posted my materials into my iTunes U course. So we have a personal narrative that we're reading, Scouts Honor, and I want the students to annotate. The best part from a, a teaching perspective is that if I want kids to share their work, um, it's a matter of me just saying, can you reflect what's on your iPad? To reflect means that whatever is showing on the student's iPad, they can mirror onto the big screen. So it means that I'm not always the one in charge of what's being shown on the screen. And so it's another way of moving into a student-centered classroom because before where it was the teacher standing up and sort of giving out all the information, now rather than the teacher being the only person on the smart board, it in a way has turned everyone's um, technology into a smart board. We're using the MacBook Air and the iPad um, as a sort of collaborative set of teaching tools in the classroom this year for the ninth grade students. Um, the iPad has really become sort of the centerpiece of the curriculum. So all of the student content is posted to iTunes U and they download that to their iPad directly. All of their problem sets and physics come directly from iTunes and they can access those on the iPad. One of the benefits of the iPad in the classroom is that students can share what they're doing um, immediately. We have the great opportunity with the smart boards in the classroom and projectors to be able to share student work um, that they're doing on the iPad with one another um, and to the whole class. So it really opens up this new sort of digital collaboration that wouldn't exist otherwise.